In this video, I'm going to go over two string copying functions that come with string.h. So the first thing we'll do is include string.h so we have access to these functions. And the two functions I'm going to go over are the strcpy function and strncpy. And they both allow us to copy a string from a source character array to a destination character array because strings are stored in character arrays in C. So here I'll say car src 10 and I'll make an example string. So I'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the string here is 9 characters long, but our source is 10 characters long. And that's because strings in C have this null terminator on the end of them. So at the end of this string here, there's a character that we can't see essentially. And it looks like this, slash 0. And that's the null terminator. It signifies the end of the string. And that special character is there even though we haven't explicitly put it there. So next we're gonna make a destination. We'll say here car dest1, and I'll make it 50 characters long. I'll make it nice and large, so it can hold a string that's even larger than necessary. And then we'll use the string copy function to copy the source string into dest1. So we'll say strcpy, dest1 will be the first argument, and source will be the second argument. And so the string copy function, strcpy, will copy the string from source to dest1. So we can just print it out just to verify that it's there. We'll say printf dest1, percent s slash n, output dest1, and we should get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 output, and we do. And so this is the most typical case of copying a string where we're copying from the source character array into the dest1 character array, and it's working and we can see that the string's copied okay and it's all good. But there's a bunch of variations with string copying that we should be aware of in terms of what to expect if we do these things and the different options we've got available to us. So let's go over some more cases here. What if the destination character array is not large enough to hold the string? What's gonna happen then? We'll try that. We'll say car des2 five, and then we'll say strcpy des2 source. So our destination character array is now only five characters long, but our source string, including the null terminator, is 10 characters long. If we try to run this, we're gonna have a bad time. We get errors here, it's not working, the program basically crashed, and what's going on here is that we just can't do this. We can't copy from a source into a destination that isn't large enough to hold the source. So we'll just comment this out. So that's what's gonna happen in that case. Now there is another function called strncpy, and this function allows us to copy a certain amount of characters from the source to the destination. There's actually a third argument that specifies the number of characters to copy. And it looks like this. We could say here car dest3, and I'll say 50. And then I'll say here strncpy dest3 src 10. So now I'm calling strncpy, not strcpy. And this function here expects a third argument. And the third argument is the number of characters to copy from the source to the destination. So here I'm saying copy 10 characters, which is how long the string is when we include the null terminator. And it's gonna copy those 10 characters from source into dest3 here. And if we printf dest3, we're gonna get the string. So we'll just output dest3 here, just to show that it's working correctly. And now you see that dest3 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so it's working like we'd expect. We copy 10 characters from source into dest3, and we get back the original string. Now, what would happen if the character array was too small here, like with strcpy? Let's just test that out. We'll say here car dest4 five, so it's only five characters long, and then we'll say strn cpy dest4 source copy 10 characters. So again, the destination character array is too small to store the source string. Again, we get the same behavior where the program crashes. So we just can't do that, just avoid doing that. We'll comment this out just to get rid of it for now. So let's actually try something else. What if the number here of characters to copy, what if that is larger than the source? So what if we're telling it to copy more characters than exist in the source? That's actually gonna be okay, and I'll show you. 
I'll say here car dest 5 50. So the destination character I can store more than enough characters. And we'll say strn cpy dest 5 src and 40. So we're saying copy 40 characters from the source into dest 5. But our source, remember, is only 10 characters long when we include the null terminator. So this number here exceeds the source string length. This will actually be okay though. So if we output dest5 here, we're gonna find that everything copied okay. Cause dest5 will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is actually okay. Basically what happens is if this number is larger than the source, those remaining characters in the destination character array, they'll be filled in with null terminators. And so it actually works out okay. One other thing we got to worry about though is what if we copy not enough characters to include the null terminator? So here, when I said strn cpy dest3 source 10, that's going to copy the nine characters. And then the 10th character is going to be the null terminator. What if this number is small enough that it doesn't include the null terminator? What's going to be in the destination character array? Let's try that out. I'll say here car dest six five. Then I'll say strn cpy dest six source two. So then I'll print f dest six. So I'll say dest six percent s slash n output dest six. So here I've got a character array that can store five characters, and I'm only copying two characters from source. So only two. If I run this here, I get this. I get dest six, one, two, and then at. So what's going on here is that only two characters were copied from the source string. Only one and two were copied over. There's no null terminator copied over, which means that the dest six character array does not have a proper null terminated string. That's where we're getting that weird looking at character at the end there, because it's not really a proper string. We'd really have to null terminate the string for it to be a proper string. So because the null terminator was not copied over when we copied over two characters, we have to put the null terminator in ourselves. We have to say like dest six at two, which remember that's going to be the third character in the character array because arrays in C are zero index. They start with zero, right? So at the third character, after copying in two characters, we're going to manually put in our own null terminator. If we do this and run it, it's going to look okay. Now we get one and two and no funky characters there because we've properly null terminated the string. So this is how we can copy strings using the strcpy and strncpy functions in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.